Howdy everybody, my name is Salty Table, and welcome back to episode 8 of my Minecraft adventure series. Today we're going to be finishing building the foundation for the island that I'm going to be constructing as my base of operations to kind of show my friends and convince them I'm not broke. Eh. But anyways, we're going to get a lot done today and I'm looking forward to doing it all, so stay in tune guys, we got a lot to do. Okay, so I just counted this thing. From end, from this end to that end, it's only about 25 blocks. And I originally said I wanted it to be 50. We have a lot of work to do. <laughs> okay, so what I think I might do, I'm going to build this part a little bit taller. I'm going to start building the shape that I want what's going to be on top to be. So I think I want two ends to come out. So like the right side to come out, the left side to come out, this, this side stay kind of stagnant. Just stay here. Maybe, maybe jet out just a little bit, just, just a little bit like this. All right. This is going to be the only semi-symmetrical part of the whole island. You guys, if you're building an island on, on your, by yourself, don't, don't be worried to have uneven edges. Un, uneven edges are really good. It, th they they give the uh they give whatever you're building a more natural field having uneven edges if i just had straight diagonal edges like like kind of like what it looks like here it just doesn't look as as good like as if i were to run along a world if you look just along the banks you can see those sides aren't even you got two blocks right there probably three right there two 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 and then you have some diagonals right there you know, you have these kind of different lengths, which gives it a more natural looking feel. If you are building a more natural build, because I want mine to look like it, what I know it wasn't naturally spawned, but I want it to look like it was once a part of the world. So I, I like to have more of a kind of kind of rougher edges. Uh, having edges as sharp as this are really only meant when you're like making hard turns. I don't really know how to describe it. Wow, look at that. That's an island up there. Alright. Man, you, it's hard to believe that it literally is like the cheapest thing I've ever built. Look at that. Alright. So this is going to be what everything sits on right here. This layer right here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, man, that scared me. That. Whoo, that's enough to give you a heart attack. Alright. Yeah, that, that's going to look really good. And last few blocks right there. Now we got a foundation. We got something to work with now. Like, this is what the island's going to grow around. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll explain from a distance so we can actually get a visual sight on what we're dealing with here. Is this? Oh, I should put torches. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, man, I only have five torches. Oh, well. All right, let's... I'm gonna go hop in a tree and I'm gonna show you guys from a distance of what I'm thinking of Okay, perfect. So this is what we're working with right now things giant. Obviously, it's about 50 by 50 going each way uh, That's kind of like what I was hoping and of course right now. It doesn't look like my my drawing of course But it, this is kind of like the frame. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try to build out some air some dirt some rocks some andesite coming out from that bottom point so that's the lowest point the island will have and then i'm going to put some dirt kind of like kind of almost piling over you know like a cupcake does with its frame it should be pretty legendary that's that's the plan right now of course if i'm totally open to your guys's ideas and i plan to have a river coming right down between these two kind of butt cheek looking things you know, <laughs> that's the only, that's what I'm thinking of it as, I you don't know, say it as it is, but. Okay, so for this next part, uh, to actually build out the island, I built out this frame right here. And I built one going from edge to edge, so from the back, the sides, and the front where the butt cheeks are. And then I finally went down, mined some cobblestone, built, smelted it into stone, and started filling in the actual spaces in between this frame. And then I started placing down the stone so that... It started 
forming the actual shape and it started looking pretty good i'm not gonna lie this was just almost less than about 25 percent of it so a little less than a fourth and then this was it when half of it was done and i really i think it actually turned out quite well it looked like an actual piece of earth ripped up so i needed to get grass up to the top so i built a dirt staircase so that grass would spread from those grass blocks all the way to the top and then i started working on the front which i think it you know it, it could always be better but i think it'll look better when it's all complete it looks kind of strange right now and then it's more of the same mining cobblestone going to the nether to get just a little bit of lava because i'm not going to use coal because that's way too expensive and then smelting it into stone so it's that same process repeat for four and a half hours and then i finally finished the actual island i mean it, lo it looks pretty good uh, we just need to do a lot of decorating, so I'm thinking I'm gonna have like dirt on top, vines hanging down with some andesite diorite. Then we thought, what? A, why don't we have our friends join? Yeah, I put the fire out, so I'm fine. <laughs> These nuts started a fire and tried to kill each other, and then they tried to form an alliance with us. I'm in the jungle right now, and I'm getting chased. I need your help. No, we're de definitely not. You I would what? like to form an alliance. No, never. McDonald <laughs> never, ever form an alliance with this guy. Now, in case you're wondering who the sides are, McDonald is a friend of mine who's siding with me, and we're siding up against Swaggermelons, who, or no, Wet Krusty Suck. That's his name now. He used to be Swaggermelons. And... Well, we just continued progression on the island, and so we started mining out dirt, and Swagger Melons, or Wet Krusty, thankfully offered his help, but I was very suspicious. I legit, like, just made four shovels. I, I got you. <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I knew you're dumb, dude. I knew you would make dirt, you know what? I knew you'd make wooden shovels. Of course. He did not bring anything valuable to help me build, which was not a good sign because he is just a delayer and he just tries to hold us back. So I started finishing up the top of the island by putting dirt down and I, th I think it's starting to look really good because we have the, the grass is already starting to spread up, up the staircase. And then I started bringing out the dirt that it kind of looks like it's overflowing on the island. And I think it looks so much better when the dirt's overflowing on the island rather than just kind of like smooth on the edges. I think that adds like so much more texture. This is McDonald's house right here. And this is kind of the whole compound that we've got set up. Anyways, that's pretty much all I've completed so far is I've got the dirt going up to the island with some grass. If you guys like this content so far and are interested in seeing more, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. You guys are what keeps this channel alive, and I'm so thankful for that. Anyways, guys, take it easy. I just wanna see